What is up you guys? This is Jaden Schaefer. In today's video, I want to go over the Instagram side hustle where you essentially build or create an Instagram account, you sell shoutouts, sell collaborations to brands, and I want to break down exactly how to do it, how to grow, and how much money you can make. A common misconception with the side hustle is that you have to be a celebrity or an influencer or you have to have some crazy viral skill unlock like a triple backflip. None of this is true. Anyone can start this from their bedroom or their basement and they can make some pretty decent side coin. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. There are three main steps to this side hustle. The first is to build or acquire an Instagram account. The second one is to grow or maintain it. And the third is to market and pitch it to brands to really get some collaborations going. So I'll break down those steps in this video. Your first thing that you need to do in order to get started on this side hustle is either to go and buy an existing Instagram account or create one from scratch. You're gonna wanna go and look at the different themes um, and create what's called a theme page. So essentially, you'll be picking a niche on Instagram like surfing or skateboarding or rock climbing and you'll be reposting viral pieces of content in those niches on those pages. So you can either do a theme page, you can do which is just one specific niche, or you can do a personal page, so that's just like if it's just you, you know, posting photos of yourself, or you could do something like a meme page where you're posting like jokes and that doesn't always have to be around like a specific niche, but sometimes it can be. So once you kind of chose your niche that you want to get started in, um, you have a couple options. You can either get started from scratch, and so that's when you just start at zero followers, you create a new name, and you just start building the account from scratch, or you can go and acquire an account on a website like FameSwap that already has 10, 20, 30, 100,000 followers. Um, you definitely have to put a little bit of investment up front in order to do that, but if you're willing to put the money in, that's a good way to kind of get jump started and save yourself a year or two of growing the page. If you don't have capital to invest off the bat then, and you have more time than money, then maybe starting from scratch would be a good option for you. What if I had to start from scratch? Once you've decided what niche you want to go into on Instagram or what type of page you want to create and you have gone and started or acquired your page, something that's important to know is that if you're doing something like a theme page and you're reposting viral content, you always want to make sure to go and give credit to the person that originally created that content. So um, you're not you know, stealing content, you're simply showcasing a bunch of content in a niche and you're always tagging them and telling people where they can go back and follow. So you're actually helping that other person grow because, and you know, rewarding them for creating this content in the first place. If you're starting from scratch or even if you bought your account, the most important thing to do is to really, you know, focus on growing your account. And um, there's a couple really popular ways to grow nowadays. If you're starting from scratch, the cheapest way is literally to just go and engage with as many people as possible. So go to people that are inside your niche and go leave juicy, you know, a minimum 10 word comments on their posts, something that's really insightful, not just like nice pick, but like, hey, I love the way that the waves glisten off the sun or I don't know, okay, that's probably a little too poetic, but something that's like a really big comment telling them why you appreciate their post and um, something that you like about it. And then other people that follow them will see those big huge comments, will like them, and people will look over at your page and follow you. So I did an experiment where I had 15 people. We all started theme pages um, in different niches on the same day. And for three weeks, we all actively posted and engaged in other people's, on other people's posts within the niche. Three of those pages hit around 1,000 followers within three weeks and other people had different levels of varying of success depending on how much they actually commented or engaged. But you can pretty decently expect that if you're dropping you know, 50 comments a day on different people's posts and they're really big thoughtful comments, that within two to three weeks you can gain your first thousand subscribers. This is something that's kind of nice um, and you know maybe you don't, maybe don't go to this extent but this is something that's good to do whether you're starting new, whether you are currently doing a personal page or whether you purchased you know, a, diff a random theme page. Like, Engaging with other people's content brings the community back to you and it's a good way to keep growing and keep your momentum as an account. This is how you would go about if you were going to buy an account. This is how you'd go about buying that account. So you're going to want to jump over to a website called fameswap.com. Once you're over here, you're going to want to go and check out all of their listings. Here they sell a bunch of Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok accounts. For this video, we're just going to check out their, tic their Instagram accounts. You can see the audience size, select how big of an account you want 
and exactly which niche you want. For this video, let's just say we're gonna be looking at something in like the humor and memes niche. Um, so you can sort by the size or by the price. Let's just go by the audience. Um, so the biggest they have is 645,000. Someone's asking 11 grand for this. So what you're gonna wanna do on any uh, account that you're kind of interested in, click over to it and make sure that you check out their, how many posts they've done, how many likes they get per post and how many comments they're getting. Something like this looks fairly organic where you know they've done almost 500 posts, they get 7,000 likes per post and they're getting 27 uh, comments per post. I would assume with 600,000 followers, they'd be getting a little bit more than 27 comments per post. Um, 40,000 video views seems pretty normal. This actually looks pretty legit too, to be honest, 100 bucks for five grand, they have 500 posts, you always wanna make sure they have a lot of posts. Sometimes they'll delete all their posts except for like five to make it look like their average like and comment is pretty high. I mean, five comments a post and 150 likes a post for 500 posts seems like it's probably a pretty legit account for 5,000 bucks. A different way to grow on Instagram that's really popular today, a lot of people are doing it because it's not super time heavy, but it does cost a little bit of money, is giveaway loops. So essentially giveaway loops are when different celebrities or Instagram personalities do a giveaway, they're gonna give away a car or a boat or a vacation or something, and in order to enter into the giveaway, um, their followers have to go and follow a list of people. So you can pay to be added to that list of people, and so let's say someone with a million followers does a giveaway, 100,000 people enter, you can expect that those 100,000 people that entered will have to follow you and you'll gain 100,000 followers. Nice. Now something that's very critical with this kind of giveaway or this kind of um, promotion or way to grow is that if you choose an influencer that's in a niche that's not like similar to your own, so let's say I'm a bodybuilder and I chose someone that's super into luxury watches that does the giveaway loop. Um, if my audience doesn't really connect or doesn't really overlap with those people, I might get a hundred thousand followers right off the bat for being in the giveaway loop for my you know ten grand I had to put in, but those people are going to unfollow me very quickly because it's not really relevant to what I continue to post on a regular basis. So you want to make sure when you do these giveaway loops that you're picking influencers or celebrities or people that are in a similar niche or post similar type of content to you. Some people will t try to sell you on some sketchy ways to grow using bots and that kind of stuff. Instagram's really cracked down on a lot of this. I still get these kind of messages though from people that are, you know, they have like a thousand accounts that were created and they're messaging random people telling them to go follow their main account. This kind of stuff, I think it probably still works if people are doing it, but it's really cat and mouse. Instagram's constantly shutting people down, banning them or deleting their account for doing this kind of stuff. It's expensive, and in my opinion, it's not really as effective as just doing a giveaway loop or just going and engaging or even hiring a virtual assistant to go and engage on your Instagram account for you. Once you've picked your niche, you have your account, you're building it, it's growing, it's popping off because you know people love your content or they love your, you know, collection of memes or whatever that you're posting or sharing or creating, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go and approach brands um, and have them do collaborations or shout outs and you know, start making money off of this thing. So there's a couple different ways to do that. One way that I've done in the past is through Fiverr. I had a theme page that I grew myself from scratch, commented on a crap ton of things, had to go out and like and comment and follow and unfollow people. Um, and I grew it to a decent size, and so I made a listing on Fiverr that said, you know, I will put you in my Instagram story, or I'll make a post about you, telling people to follow you, um, and in exchange people would pay me. And depending on how much they paid me was how long I would leave it on my story or my post, or if I'd leave it there permanently, if it was, you know, high quality, people would pay me for that. So that's one method. If you have a personal page, a more common method is there's different influencer websites that you can put your profile on, and people will, brands will search through different niches and if you're in the right niche for them, you have a re the right budget and kind of the right style they're going for, they'll send you products and work on a brand collaboration with you. The third way is to go and pitch directly to brands or companies that you like, say, hey, I love your product, I would love to feature you on my page, this is my rate, and kind of go that way. Or just wait for them to reach out to you. 
That way is a little bit less stable, but it's also a good alternative if you know it's hard for you to get onto one of these websites or you're not having a ton of traction on Fiverr. When I was in the Instagram game, I had a company reach out to me. They gave me a credit to their store so I could go and buy some merch or stuff that I liked that they made. They sent it over to me. They gave me like a $75 budget on their website and then I was able to wear their clothes, take pictures, and they paid me $25 a post. So I did three posts, made 75 bucks, plus I got $75 of you know hoodies and backpacks and some other merch from them. So this is, this is pretty typical, but it was definitely more rare than when I was just doing the Fiverr post and I had a bunch of things coming in on a pretty regular basis. So now I want to break down exactly how much people are currently making doing this and how much I made when I did this on Fiverr and a couple other places. So let's dive into my analytics. So I have come to the conclusion that Fiverr is probably the worst way to sell shoutouts on Instagram. When I did it, I made a grand total of $224. And that was over the course of a ton of different orders that I made for different people. A majority of these were like five, 10 and $20 orders doing the shout outs. Really wasn't a super profitable thing, but I was just messing around and trying it out at one point. So what's a lot more successful than Fiverr is to sign up for an influencer website and to work directly with brands. One example of someone that has signed up for an influencer website and worked directly with brands would be Shea Music. Recently, he did some giveaway loops. He spent $850. He gained around 40,000 followers from this. And with that, he was able to do sponsored posts like this one that paid $75 for the giveaway. In addition, um, after he was after he got these followers, he was able to work out a deal with an audio company where they paid him $500 to make and post a handful of posts on their own personal profile. So for in his first month, he paid $850 on giveaway loops and he was able to do $575 um, in promotion stuff. So not a terrible ROI for your first month. Meme accounts can make a ton of money. I mean, this does have 22 million followers, which is pretty insane, but this account, um, just posting memes, when I reached out to them for their prices, they got back to me and said that to get a post on their main page, a permanent post costs $2,500, 24 hour post would be $2,000, and a story post is about $1,000. So they have a few different accounts, um, you know, with permanent posts for 300 bucks, permanent posts for 500 bucks, permanent posts for 150. Um, and these are smaller accounts here. Also, this was um, over a year ago that they gave me these rates. So they're probably way up, especially if these accounts have grown. But this is kind of something that you could look at charging if you grew your own um, account. Another company of meme pages that I reached out to got back to me on their prices. They only post your ad for a few hours. So they're usually targeting people that are doing drop shipping that are saying like, go check my thing out or go follow my page. So 8 million followers or 7 million followers, not common facts. They are charging $150 for three hours or $320 for 12 hours. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. If you like this kind of content where I go over online ways to make money and different side hustles, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to join the journey, smash the like button, drop me a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you in next week's video.